Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this DIY, I'll be making a sign for the bathroom. It can be used in a meditation room, just anywhere you want to relax. And that's exactly what I'm spelling out. Relax. Now here I have some letters that I picked up from Michael's. I went ahead and painted three of them silver. Here's my R and here's my L. So. Now instead of gluing them together just like this, I'm going to stack them in a way that's a little bit different. So I'm going to put the E on top of the R and the L and then the A on top of the L and the X like so. And I need to make sure that it's straight. I think I want to take this over just a little bit. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to spell out relax just like that. So what I'm going to do is take some wood glue from Dollar Tree and glue my letters together. Now one thing I noticed about the wood glue is really slippery so you have to be really careful when you're gluing your letters together. And you want to come in and clean up any glue seepage. Okay, so I'm done cleaning up the glue seepage. So I'm going to allow this to dry for at least two hours, then come back and move on to the next step. Okay guys, I'm back. It's been about two hours, and because it's really cool in my home, the wood glue has not set up enough to where I can continue to work. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reinforce it with some hot glue and then see if I can go ahead and continue on. And we're not gonna worry about this because this is the back and it will not be seen. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit for a while, then come back and move on to the next step. Okay guys, I'm back. It's the very next day. I went ahead and let this sit up overnight. Now I have a really sturdy sign to work with. First thing I'm going to do is decorate my L, and I've decided to use crushed glass. Here I have some Mod Podge. I got this large container from Michaels, but you can also find it at Walmart, and you can also find the smaller ones at Dollar Tree. And I always like to get the gloss. This is super simple. All that I'm going to do is brush the Mod Podge onto my letter, and then pour my crushed glass on top. And now I'll just pour the crushed glass on top. So now I'll let this sit for about 10 minutes. Then I'll shake out the excess glass and then fill in those open spaces with more glass. Okay, I'm back. So let's just shake off the excess. Okay, so you want to remove any glass that takes away from the shape. So now I need to go back in with my second coat and fill in these open spaces. Now I have a smaller brush. And I just put in more crushed glass. Okay, so now I'll allow this to set up for about 10 more minutes and I'm gonna do something that I haven't done in a while. I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter to it to give it more sparkle. Okay, while I'm waiting for the Mod Podge to set up on my crushed glass, I'm gonna go ahead and work on this butterfly. I found this at Dollar Tree, of course. Here's the skew. So what I'm gonna do is just disassemble this butterfly. So what I wanna do is just go ahead and pull this up like that. And then I have these two pieces. So luckily I have another one and I went ahead and spray painted it silver ahead of time. And this is what it looks like. So what I wanna do now is decorate my butterfly because I'm gonna add it to the sign. So what I think I'm going to do is mix some glitter and Mod Podge together and then brush it on the back. I have both of these glitters. And you guys have seen me mix glitters before when I did my lip shade a long time ago. Again, I have my Mod Podge. I found this glitter at Michael's, and of course I used my coupon. And this one I found at Walmart. 
take out my popsicle stick and stir it up. It's like the consistency of oatmeal. And now I'll just brush it on. When you're applying this mixture, you kind of pat it on because of the large pieces of glitter. So I'm gonna let that completely dry and then come back to it. For this butterfly, I mixed some fine glitter into the Mod Podge and then brushed it on. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this mixture on the antenna. And since I have some mixture left, I'm gonna go ahead and brush it on my R. Okay, so I'm gonna let all these pieces dry, then come back and move on. Okay, as you can see, the glitter has completely dried on this piece, and I love how the glitter sparkles. And I'm not through decorating it. Here's what the front looks like. I went ahead and put a second layer of the Mod Podge and glitter on, and then I added some loose glitter right around the outside of the butterfly. Now I'll seal the glitter in place with some hairspray. And I'm just using this hairspray from Dollar Tree. Okay, back to the crust glass. It's completely dry. So what I'm gonna do now is seal it in place. Here I have some water. And I'm just gonna add just a tiny bit of Mod Podge to this water. About like that, just a drop. And the reason I'm adding such a small amount is because I feel like once I dab the water over the crust glass, it's gonna reactivate the Mod Podge that's already there in the background and that I help hold it down in place. So let's see. I'm just gonna mix it up. It's a little bit cloudy, but it's super, super watery. So I'm just gonna dab it on there. So now I'm going to barely open my fine silver glitter and then sprinkle it over the glass. Okay, off camera, I went ahead and started decorating the back. So all I did was cut some strips of bling and glue it down like this. So I didn't use hot glue, I used some of the Dollar Tree Fix-All glue. And I used a popsicle stick to apply the glue to the lines on the wings. And now I'll put this right on top of the glue. Okay, moving right along. As you can see, I've added crystals to this wing. These I received from Jennifer. She's the same person who sent the Chanel logos. So I'm just gonna glue those on this wing with some hot glue. So now I'm gonna take some of these rhinestones and glue them on the body. And I'm gonna glue two of the larger ones to the antenna. All right, so now we have stones on the antenna. Now all I need to do is glue the two pieces together. That's our butterfly, isn't it pretty? Off camera, I added some bling to the sides of my letters. I used Fix All Glue from Dollar Tree to adhere the bling to the letters. Okay, as you can see, I've been adding light to the back of my sign. I've already completed the A and the X, part of the L, right? So now I need to do the R, the E, and the rest of the L. And I'll be using the string lights. And I purchased these from Amazon. I'll link them below. They come in a box like this, I think about 11 to 12. So I'll pull this out. Turn the lights on. Now what I want to do is 
put my battery pack on the E. So I'm going to hot glue that down and I'm gluing it down so that my screws are upward. So when I need to change the battery, I can change the battery. Now I'm not gonna show you the whole entire thing. I'm just gonna give you an idea on how to do it. So this is the excess wire. Just wanna kinda of pull it out the way. We can deal with this later. So the first thing I wanna do is get started here with the R. And just put it right on the string. So all you need to do now is just hold this down until the hot glue sets up. You want to go around in the shape of the letter. So now I'm done wiring the back. It shows the whole entire process because it's time consuming. But when you do it, you just want to follow the outline of the letter as best as you possibly can. And then, you know, hide the excess wire that you have. So I'm just going to add some glue right down here on this excess piece and that'll hold it down. So now I'll turn the lights down so you can see what it looks like. Now you can't see the light that well because it's not that dark in here. Once you put it up against the wall or something, I put it up against this <laughs> piece of cardboard that Eden's been cutting on. So. To make it pop it. Okay, for my A, I've decided to add my butterfly to my A. So I'm gonna glue it on there and I'm gonna use some flower bling. I went ahead and cut some pieces ahead of time and I also burned the thread from around the flowers. And now I'm going to add my flowers and I'm going to spray them out as I glue them down. And now I'm going to add rhinestones to each flower. Okay, I'm done with my A. So now I'm going to start on my R. And I've decided to use mirror tile on my R. And I'll probably just do like, uh, like some buildings or whatever. Okay, I'm done with the R. As you can see, I put some skyscrapers on there. Okay, so now since I decided on this look, I want to make the skyline more blingier, so I'm going to add more glitter. So I'm going to let that completely dry, come back, and then seal the glitter with this hairspray. Okay everyone, I'm back. It has actually been a few days since I worked on this. I wanted some different blinks, so I went ahead and ordered this in silver. It's so pretty, guys. I am going to link this below. This is really, really pretty. You guys have seen it in rose gold, but I have it in another color as well, and then the silver, so yeah, I really love that. So what I'm going to do is use this to decorate my E. Now, because the white is showing a lot on this one, I want a lot of white to still show on my E. So what I'm gonna do is just glue a couple strips down on the first part of my E. And off camera, I went ahead and cut it. All you have to do is just lay it and then take your scissors and try and trace it. It's easy to cut even through the little small pieces. You can cut right through it. Now, you can use hot glue to glue this down, but I want this to look really clean, so I'm gonna use some of the Dollar Tree Fix All. Okay, moving right along. I have these small little blingy rectangular pieces from totallydazzle.com and I'm going to add these to my E as well. I also have these cute crowns from totallydazzle.com as well and I decided to use these. So what I'm going to do is just hot glue these down.
and just glue it on. Okay, and here's our E. So finally, we have our X to decorate. Once we do that, we'll be done. So I'm gonna use some of this Dollar Tree beaded bling that I found. So it's gonna be simple. I'm just gonna cut some strips and glue them straight across. Again, I'll take some of my glue Just like that. So I'm just gonna continue to cut and glue these on off camera. Come back and add one more piece to the X and then we'll be done. To finish it off, I'll be adding this beautiful brooch from totallydazzle.com to the center of my X. I removed the pin from the back of the brooch and then I glued it to the X. And here's my beautiful sign. Now I'll clean up all the glue webs, put it on the wall, and let you guys see what it looks like on display. And here's my beautiful sign on display. I decided to hang it right above my DIY glam wall shelf. It would also look really nice on your counter. You can display it next to Zen decor and some really nice relaxing bath products like bath bombs or bath salts. It's really up to you however you decide to display your sign. If you decide to stack your letters the way that I did mine, I would stick with odd number letters like 3, 5, and 7. The word spa and bling would definitely work. And for all of you Chanel lovers, I did not forget about you. I'll be creating a sign just for you on my second channel, so stay tuned. Okay everyone, this completes my DIY. I hope that you enjoyed it, and if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. It's absolutely free. Okay everyone, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.